Welcome Leo Virgo to your February 25th through the 28th reading. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. And welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. And cross watchers, of course. Best message, please, for the end of the month. Best message, please, for the end of the month. Ooh, trying to find the peace within you. Having a peace of mind over here. Really trying to understand things and finding what it is that makes you feel peaceful on the inside and out. Yeah. You might even find this person around you who's very peaceful and bringing you some peace of mind as well. Okay. And let's see exactly what the purpose over here is. When it comes to the peace, I do feel like you're having a peace and tranquility coming, though, at this time as you're, you know, just kind of out of the hustle and bustle right now, um, trying to do your own thing. Okay, so definitely feeling, though, like you still have some back and forth issues going on around you. There could be just some energy or some or somebody moving back and forth and you're trying to find the peace maybe from them. Um, definitely could be a Libra. Um, we do have the loving man. So maybe you have this loving man or woman. It doesn't have to be either just person. Okay, let's just leave it there. You have this loving person who's kind of back and forth, back and forth. Almost like they can't keep themselves in place. But it's almost like you're just trying to keep your own peace of mind about the situation. Um, clarifying pretty much on the back and forth through this situation is the increased, yeah. And it's an increase of back and forth, meaning they're really not standing still at all. So you're just trying to, like, find the peace within your mind, like, okay, okay. It's almost like you're swinging on the swing back and forth, and they're teeter-tottering back and forth. Kind of like, I don't know, it feels like they have a lot of anxiety. They're like, what are you doing? Right? And the deserving is upside down, so this, like, loving person doesn't even know what they want. And I do feel like it is a, a, a person of love. Um, meaning like your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, that energy. It is definitely a relationship, loving relationship. They don't even know what they deserve anymore. They're all over the place and you're just like, whatever, do what you want. You know, because they they're all over the place right now. They are coming and going, coming and going. Are you leaving or are you coming? I don't know what you're doing. It almost feels like one day they're going to bring you flowers, and the next day they're burning the flowers. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. They don't know what they're doing. They're writing you, and then the next day they don't call for days on it. I don't know. They want your love one day and not the next. Heartbreak. Well, it's causing a heartbreak, but you're trying to keep the peace within yourself because it's almost to the point where it's like you're kind of struggling within to understanding what is going on. It feels like, for some of you, this person might keep telling you, we're going to have a divorce, no we're not. So you don't know exactly what is going on because they keep teeter-tottering back and forth. I'll show you the love. No, I'm not going to show you the love. Right? So there is a lot of emotional grief and a lot of suffering going on where you're trying to keep your inner peace and inner, you know, just, that's it. That's literally it. Just trying to keep yourself peace of mind and inner peace. And it's kind of crazy because I think if you could actually watch this person, literally... You would watch them, right? We can see what's in their mind, right? It's almost like they play with their own head games. You could be dealing with a air sign or a Pisces. It's just emotional mess. That's all I'm seeing. So there is definitely this loving person over here who has past resentments, but they want the desire to reconcile. See, here's where the game comes. Maybe they're going back and forth between this other person. Maybe you know that. Maybe they're back and forth. Like they come to you and then they go back to them. Um, and now you're just at peace and you're just like, you do whatever the hell you want to do. Just, and for some of you, I just feel like, leave me alone. Um, they do have the desire to reconcile and make amends. And then sometimes it's almost like they don't want to. Or they go back on their word or something. Something is going on. Something is definitely going on. Oh, maybe it's that. I just heard it. It's the um, actions are louder than words. Maybe that's exactly what the teeter-tottering is. Okay. 
Actions are louder than words. So they keep telling you this, but then they don't show you an action. Now, okay. Got that. So you're just sitting in your quiet power over here in your inner truth. You understand what's going on. You understand that they're kind of manipulating this whole love relationship. And it's almost like they're kind of misusing their power. And I think that they're, the reason for that is definitely the action speed louder than words thing. Because I, I tell you, I heard that. I just wish it was louder. You know, you could scream at me. It was like way back in my mind. Like, I should do louder than that. I can barely hear what the hell you're saying. Um, but yeah. And it is. It, it really is, though, guys. It's really them losing their emotional control. And you know that. Everybody knows this, right? You can see it. I can see it as they're kind of running around. Yeah. A chicken with their head cut off. They don't know what they're doing. Don't know if they're coming or going. They don't know. That's it, though. They don't know what they deserve. Do I deserve you? Do I deserve them? Where's my pasture greener? I don't know where my pasture's green. Is it my cat pasture greener with you? Or is my pasture greener with this Capricorn? Uh, you know, I don't know where I'm going. They need to rest and relax and meditate. They need to take the same peace of mind you're taking right now. Because right now you're in such a peaceful place. You're just like, and I'm just watching you run all over the place. And I ain't listening to anything you're saying. I really don't believe anything that they're saying right now. And Leo Virgo, I don't think that you are in any place in your mind right now believing any of the things that they're saying. I really don't. I think you're just in this place right now where you're just like, Shh, you're going to fall one day, right? Because you're already falling all over the place. I'm not really listening to anything. It's just getting, and I think that the reason it's coming up is because it's getting worse. Between, you know, the 25th through the 28th, Eighth, it's just ridiculously horribly worse, right? You're just going to see them kind of like what you're going to think is like lose their mind. Did you lose your mind? Where are you? Where are you traveling to? What are you doing? Right? I don't even know what you're doing. The celebration and friendship over here. Yeah. Three of cups. For some of them, they're going back and forth between another person or back and forth within their mind. If you know that there's not another person involved and you know that's not the situation, then it's you and this one thought they have and this other thought they have and they don't know where the hell they're going. They're so all over the place. But it's kind of crazy because come around the 27th or the 28th or somewhere around there, they want to have their friends over. They want to have this friendship. They want to have this collaboration with you or take you out to celebrate something to try to make you happy. So they want this happiness, right? They're going to try to bring the back and forth energy that they have into one cup. And they're going to try to show you, yeah, they're going to try, try to show you Ten of Cups. So they're going to try to show you what you deserve. They don't know what they deserve, but they know what you deserve. Huh? Okay. So they're going to try to make your dreams come true. They're going to try to make this relationship work. They're going to try their hardest at this time, after they run around all over the place, not knowing what the hell they're doing, telling you meaningless stuff and not showing you nothing they're finally going to come together and try to be um aligned with their own inner happiness and try to fulfill this relationship ten of cups i want to take you out leo virgo and show you how much i love you that's amazing you guys could be dealing with a pisces who's just all over the place literally what the and then they're going to go right back to what they were doing before. What the fuck? Yeah, this is, in, this is the most insane reading. I just went from one of the happiest readings to one of the most insane readings. Um, what in the world are they doing? They don't know what they're doing. That's that's the point. They're in so much confusing. They're actually confusing me. They don't know what they want. They think they know what they want, but they don't know what they want. Because look, now they're going to take you out. Right? They're like, look, I want to take you out and let's celebrate and have fun. 
And then all of a sudden they're like, and I'm going to show you the divine love and my overall happiness of love. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to go back into this place of negativity and depression and sadness. And I'm going to teeter totter back into this place of, I don't care. We started here, teeter tottering back and forth. You're going to end there. Going right back to where they were before. Feeling down. Feeling negative. Feeling depressed. Sadness. Person might be bipolar. I don't know. Or just a Pisces. <laughs> or just a water sign. Um, there's something deeper going on over here with some kind of issue going on. I don't know what they... I don't think they know what they want. It could be bipolar. It could be just literally, I don't know what the hell I want. And it's causing bad luck, no matter what. It's causing a horrible cycle between the two of you. It's causing a total negative phase. And for you guys to stay in such a peaceful place within your mind shows me that you've been dealing with this for more than just a week, right? This is a longer relationship than just, just this month, right? Um, only for the fact that it's almost like the point where it's like, they break promises, they break this, they break that, they want to come over here, you know, tell me they love me, not show it to me. But the crazy thing is now they want to show it to you, but then as soon as the action is taken, they're going to go right back to where they started from. So it's just continuing with this cycle. You may know that this is a karmic cycle. Maybe this person needs to love themselves first or something. There's something, a deeper issue going on over here. So or they're stuck between two loves and they don't know what they're doing they don't know where the hell they should be the spirit is saying that to get that wheel of fortune upright you know you need to take the overall transformation that's going to be a death card guys that's that's definitely a death card you know what you you know what i'm talking about you know that you probably should let this person go. If they can't, if they are just going to continue to keep doing the same thing over and over again, they're just drowning you. I mean, you can, you're only going to be able to stay in your happy spot for so long. I mean, you know, unless you've been married forever, then you already know, you know what, this is just the way it is. So then the only thing I can say about that is at least you're going to get the Ten of Cups for a day. You're going to have some happiness and some joy and some real love. That's all I got for you, right? So be happy. And then you'll say, woohoo, finally. That sucker, I've been waiting. He kept telling me. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you're used to that, and this is the way you live, you know, we all live certain lifestyles and that's fine. But then I can just say, get ready. Here we go. But then you would already know that you're going right back to where you started from. So for some of you, that would be no surprise. So then the only thing I can tell you in that reading was get ready. Get ready for some love, right? Because you've been waiting for it. Because this is your family, right? This is what you're used to. For others of you who are just like, no, me, man. I can't deal with that. Right? Then you know what you need to do. Go out and find new supportive connections. Okay, so that's definitely a reading for two different types of people because I do see some of you being in a long, long-term relationship of marriage um, because of the Ten of Cups, and you've just been waiting. You've been waiting for them to do what they say they're going to do. And so it's like nothing really new because it's it's, it's your lifestyle. It's, it's how you're comfortable, and that's totally fine. Some people live that way, and, you know, I'm not here to judge nobody. But for others of you who are not used to this, and this is not what you want, um, your transformation comes with a new, a new uh, supportive connection. Okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.